quite a few people have come up to me since the book has been published and asked me why I'm anti-email. And I politely explain that I'm not anti-email, I'm anti-inefficiency. To me, it doesn't make any sense to send 10 emails back and forth trying to schedule something or using email as a project management tool. And as I mentioned in the book, I am a recovering email addict. I estimated in writing the book that at some point I sent over 2 million emails throughout my business career. And that equates to a lot of time. And I remember very specifically the day that I realized my, I had an email addiction. I was working on a project in upstate New York, migrating a company from one system to another. And to make that happen, I needed to communicate very clearly with people. So in 2007, really the best way to do it, I thought, was to send a bunch of emails. They were very long, very detailed emails that explained what was happening, what had gone right, what had gone wrong, and what needed to happen next. My heart was in the right place. I wasn't trying to confuse people. Around 3 o'clock, so about 8 hours into it, I'm an early riser, a woman came up to me and said, what's the status? And I was a bit perturbed. And I wrinkled my eyebrows and said, didn't you get my email? And she just chuckled and said, which one? And it hit me like a ton of bricks. At that very moment, I realized that in my efforts to communicate with people, I was actually confusing them. So that was the day that I realized that I had an email addiction.